So here we go. We're going to start. You're going to reach up. You breathe in. It's like you're gathering energy from the sky and you pull down and you breathe out. Chinese have names for all these things. This is called pulling down the heavens. You breathe in, breathe out. In, breathe out. One last time. Breathe in, breathe out. We'll do a small warm up to get you ready, your body ready to do the rest of the exercises. So you start out by just shaking your hands really loosely. Once you get them shaking, we're trying to get energy to come from the center of your body to your fingertips. And then once you do that, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna start bouncing up and down. See, my hands are still shaking, but that's because my body's shaking. We're trying to break up adhesions in our body to let energy and fluids go. And then you're gonna go back and forth, really loose. And if you can, what you want to do is you want to lift your heels very slightly off the ground and drop down. Keep your heel, your knees soft so you don't hurt your knees. And that sends a little shock wave through your body. You're trying to, when you sit around too much Hulu and Netflix, your internal organs start sticking together. So you want to break up the stickiness there, lifting your shoulders, trying to Lift up your shoulder blades and you drop down and wakes up your lungs. Okay, and then at the end, we're gonna come back to the center. You bring your hands up and you throw the energy out to your fingertips. Okay, Chinese said that's called shake the nine gates. This one is called dragon shakes his whiskers. So you're gonna, what you do is you're gonna look over your shoulder, your shoulders turning back and forth. This is waking up our spine. So you're looking, your chin follows your shoulders. You want your arms to be loose. They can hit up against your body a bit. That, that once again helps to break up the stickiness inside your internal organs. So what all these things are, you're trying to get fluids. If you, if you don't move, your body becomes like stagnant. So all these things, a lot of the qigong, these are called qigong movements, are, are to like get circulation, turn your body into an efficient hydraulic system. So it's going to aid your respiration, digestion, and elimination, which we know is all important to all of us. Okay, that was shape the nine gates. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try to work. If, we, if you have any problems with your spine, be very careful when you're leaning, but we're trying to Separate the vertebrae of our spine. So we're going to reach. We reach for the ceiling, and then we reach for the other wall. And then when you reach, your shoulders stay flat as if they're against the wall. You don't want to twist your spine. And then you're leaning. So what we're going to do, we're going to breathe in. Breathe out. Breathing in. This is called crescent pose. We're trying to get our spine into a crescent shape. We're stretching, getting the kinks out of our nervous system on one side of our body, massaging the organs on the other, and separating the vertebrae. So these three exercises you can do any time during the day just to wake up your body a little bit. Reach, so I'm gonna breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, and then this hand, you're really reaching for that wall over there. Breathe in, breathe out. And two more, breathe in, breathe out, and breathe in. Breathe out. All right. One of, one of the movements that is one of the concepts that's in all the, uh, in a lot of the movements are, we want to get fluids moving through our spine. So we're learning this today. You're coming up, you're opening up your chest. Your back is very slightly arched. And then when you go down, your, your back is flattened. So you're kind of 
doing this to your spine. That's getting spinal fluid going, cleaning up your brain. And at the same time, we're going to be pulling back our shoulders. That's opening our chest. And then we're going to be breathing out. So we're getting this whole spinal area going. So here we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to breathe in. Our shoulders come together. We're opening our spine. And breathe out. Come up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, our hands, the back of our hands come together, our shoulders together, and then as we go up, we're opening up our chest. This is massaging our lung and our hearts. At the same time, we're arching our back slightly, we're looking up, and then we're coming back. Okay, so we're gonna go the other way, so we're gonna breathe in when we look up now, and then breathe out. Squeeze everything together. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. So you're breathing in. You can come up. Your your weight goes on the bulbs of your feet and your toes. And then when you go down, you sink. And then your weight goes out to your heels and your toes. So we're going up and slightly forward and down, rounding our back. This is getting like a lot of stuff's going on here, working on our balance because we're shifting back and forth, opening up our chest, massaging our hearts. Our spine is arching and unflattening. So we're working our spine. So a lot of stuff's going on, even though it's a really simple movement. Breathe out. Okay, so we're gonna do one more thing. You should be doing everything with what's called abdominal breathing. So we're just gonna do an exercise here. You have your hands in your stomach, you're gonna breathe in, your stomach goes out. And then when you breathe out, we're gonna push in. See, so this is my back, this is the same thing. See, my back's arching. I breathe out, my back's rounding, but I'm pulling in, pushing in my stomach. This is abdominal breathing. We're trying to warm up our internal organs. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. This is very similar to the first movement. Breathe in, you look up, put up your chest. Breathe out, you round, pull your pelvis in to round your spine. But we're squeezing in, we're squeezing in there, we're pulling up, everything up. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. We're just practicing abdominal breathing here. You should do this all the time. Squeeze in, pull up your perineum, pull everything up and squeeze in. Like I said, we're massaging our internal organs here, warming up our body. Our belly goes, gets, tends to get cold as we get older. We wanna keep, keep all the warmth down there. Keep the fires burning, breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, up. Open our chest, look up. Arch our back very slightly, breathe, breathe out. Come down, sink on our heels and our toes. Breathe in. Breathe out. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna come here when we breathe in, our hands come up, float up, and we breathe out, they come back down. So it's kind of like we're reaching up, it's kind of like we're gathering the energy again. And we breathe out, kind of, but we still do our abdominal breathing and we pull all the energy down and put it, push it into our into our Navel. So breathe in, 
breathe out. It's called Phoenix Ascends the Flame. You're a fiery bird, giving a lot of energy, pulling it down into your navel. Breathe in, we're going up, back slightly arched. Breathe out, come down and sink onto our heels. And grab, we're still grabbing on our toes. So we're going up and down, going forward onto the balls of our feet and our toes. Breathe out, sink down. And in. Breathe out. Okay, so now there's another whole principle of Tai Chi and Qigong here, which is your feet are, your feet, energy starts in your feet. You use your feet to move your waist and then your waist moves your hands. So we're trying to do this right now to learn some grace. So here I'll exaggerate at the bottom. So here we're at the bottom. I push my feet to, to get my hips going and that throws my hands up. And then when I get to the top, I drop my hips down and see that pulls my hands down. So we're actually, my hands, are being driven by my waist. So we want this to be very subtle. What we're trying to learn is we move, we move our body continuously. You don't stop at the top or the bottom. And then we're trying to use our waist to control our arms while we have stability in our feet. So what we're trying to do is learn to move with grace. So we're part of we, what we want to maintain. So when we go down the street, we don't like ratchet around, we just move very gracefully. Breathe out. This looks like a simple movement, but you've got your abdominal breathing going on. Breathe out. You've got, you know, going Sinking on your heels, going up on, your, on the balls of your feet, then coming down. That's actually building up by moving up and down. See, my waist is moving up and down. It's strengthening my legs. We have, we're working on our balance by being able to shift up and down, strengthening our legs and our ankles. And then the other thing is we're doing our come up open our hearts and our, our chest, come down, round up, pull our pelvis in, round our spine. So we're actually working, getting spinal fluid going too. So even though these things look like they're very simple, a lot of stuff is going on. You have to remember it all. You're trying to learn to, to be aware of your entire body when you move. Okay. Just do a few more of those. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we've got, we've got this ball we're holding, it's a beach ball. It's called the golden chi ball because it's got all our energy. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to one side, and you're gonna turn and you're gonna reach your hands. You've got this ball, so your hands stay under each other. That makes sure that, you, that you're turning your waist and your hips and you're gonna come back to the center. And then we're gonna do it to the other side. And we're going to come back to the center. So here we go. So we're going to breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. You want to make sure your hands are staying under each other. You're turning. This is called embrace the sun and the moon. So you're taking the energy of the sun and the moon and bringing it back once again to your, to your lower navel area. Okay, here we go. So breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Your shoulders are relaxed. You're just going back and forth right now. We're gonna do one more of these, breathe in. Breathe out, 
Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to build up. Remember, we're also trying to build up our grace. So what we're going to do is going to breathe in. This is water. So we bring it back. When it gets here, we're going to be like it splashed around a little bit and then kept flowing to the other side. So we're working on our grace here. So breathe in. It's coming down. You, want to, you don't want to just move your hands. You want your, remember your waist is moving your hands. That's one of the principles of Tai Chi. So I come back, see my hands are being pulled back by my waist when I get here. So they're in front. See my waist makes a little turn and that, that's what makes the ball go around. So breathing in, we're here. Our hands go around because our waist goes around. Then we come back. So our waist is pulling them back. Our waist makes a little turn. The waist goes up. These are all the secrets of Tai Chi. And this is why it's different than just moving your arms around. You're actually using your entire body to move energy around. So pull down, make a little circle, and then come up. Okay, so go here. So breathe in and come back. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. I can see a few of you on there. Your grace is amazing me. Let's just go. So breathe in. Comes down. Remember your hips. See my hips are moving my hands. This is how they get all their power in martial arts. They don't just wave their arms around when they punch. They actually use their hips or their entire weight. You can also, once you get it down, you can move faster and much more fluidly by having your body just move rather than just trying to force your arms around. Up. Okay, we'll do one more each side, breathe in. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, come back. Pull down the heavens, capture all that energy. Okay, so now we're gonna do, here's another interesting thing. So they have, there's five elements, so there's five seasons and every season you work on a different part of your body, as I said, and right now we're working on our lungs. So, well, it's lungs and large intestines. We'll do, actually, we'll do a large intestines one right now. So what's gonna happen is, you're gonna put your hands on the right side of your body. What we wanna do is help, help our digestion. So first we wanna heat up so you're going to put your hands, I'm, I'm going to mirror you. So you're going to put your hands on your right side of your body. You're going to come up the right side of your body, come across to your ribs, go down the other side to your pelvis area, and then come back. So we're basically making this. So we're trying to warm up. The large intestine is the organ, another organ we're supposed to be working on this season. Okay, so you come around. So you go up, come up the right, so you can... So here we go. So once we do it, so we're here, turn, you can turn to the right. This is, gives a little bit more effort. Come across, come down the left side, come back to the center. Come across. We want to be warming up our large intestines, aiding our digestion. Of course, for me, I'm mirroring you, so like I'm going against my digestion, but hopefully this is helping you because you're going, you're, you're starting on the right side, going across and coming down to the left side, but which is the way your food flows. One more. Okay, so you can make a fist now, put it like here, just below your navel, your thumb can be in your navel, you're gonna pull in. Gonna do a little bit of breathing to try to get things going. So we're gonna 
do our usual thing where we look up, slightly arch our back, breathe in, and now we breathe out, we're gonna really bend over. So we're, we're breathing out and we're pulling in. So we're gonna breathe in, Breathe in, press in as you're going down. Just do five of these. Breathe in, breathe in, and we'll do one more. Breathe in. Okay, so it's trying to aid your digestion, your, strengthen your, your internal organs lower. So the other thing to do is they have a sound. We're trying to work on the lungs. So what we're gonna do is the sound they use, you breathe in, so we're gonna breathe in, and then we're gonna breathe out saying the sound. And so this, this is a little hard to do when you start because it just seems really weird, but they just, you get used to it. They have a different sound for each season, each organ. So the sound for your lungs is hiss. So we're gonna do is come in, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, hiss. Breathe in. Breathe in, breathe in, yes. Push everything out, breathe in, try to expand your lungs, breathe in, breathe in as much as you can. in this area where there's actually a sound for the heart we're going to do that too it's of course what do you say for your heart uh so that's so what we're going to do is we're going to come up we're going to breathe in and then we're going to let it out so we we'll breathe in as much as we can and then as we breathe out we're going to lean and look up at the heaven you don't want to arch your back a lot you're actually just trying to Turn your thorax so you can work on your spine, opening up your spine. Your arms are just going to come back. You're going to look up, and we're going to say the, the word is ah. So it's just like with that. So we're going to breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, and then ah. sounds those are a little strange the first time that you see them but like I said they have a different sound they have they have six sounds for depending on which season it is five, sorry five sounds there's actually a sixth sound because it's just like with uh, Greek um, Greek theory Greeks have four four uh, elements air earth fire and water but the quintessential element is heaven that's whatever heaven is made out of the stars they have the same thing. They have the five elements. They're from the earth. The sixth element is electricity. It comes from heaven. Okay, so the last part is we go through. There's a type of meditation that Taoists do that we use that. It's a standing meditation. 
uh, it's pretty, it's much easier. One of the hardest, if I talk to my teachers, they say the hardest of all practices is sitting meditation. You have to sit on the floor, you know, you're there for an hour, not moving. Um, with standing meditation, your body is much more relaxed in a more natural position. Um, we'll go first through stacking the bones. So what we're gonna do is first your feet, <clears throat> you want your feet connected to the earth. So you have a good connection. So your, your toes, your, most of your weight's on your heels, but you're grabbing, you're, you're grabbing the ground with your toes too. So you're, you're, you're kind of, your feet are kind of arched. Your knees are soft, so you don't want to be rigid. Your knees are soft. Um, we're doing a thing where we don't want the back arched. It's kind of like you're, you're pulling your pelvis and you're trying to push your kidneys against the wall. We're trying to get our spine in a straight line so, you, so you're there. So now we have our feet, our knees, our spine, our lower spine. We're pushing out the kidneys so it's straightened out. You're going to pull up back your shoulders and drop them down. So you're not pulling them back, but you kind of want to pull them down so your spine is straight, and but they're still relaxed. If they're not arched back, you're, you're relaxed. Your back is relaxed. Your chin is straight, but you feel like you're a Christmas ornament. So you're being pulled up here, and that kind of straightens your the, the back your of your neck. So now your your spine and all your vertebrae are like a string of pearls. So energy can move up and up and down. Okay, so what we do is you don't want to be, you, you don't want anything to be closed, so you don't want your arms against. You want to have, like they say, robin's eggs in your armpits or ping pong balls, so your hands are out a little bit. And right now they have, just like with the sounds, the Chinese have a different organ that you're working on. We're working on our lower, we're trying to get our lower body heated up again, so we're going to hold our hands out together like this, okay? Um, the only other thing is, remember, we're doing that abdominal breathing where we're breathing in and then we breathe out we push all the air out. We pull up our perineum, we clench everything, we push everything in. So we'll just do a few of those. Breathe in. Breathe out. Push all the air out. Pull, up, pull everything up, pull everything in. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, so now we're gonna put our hands here. We'll just do a few breaths to start with you. And then we'll go through a few of the other things for meditation. So you're breathing in. Breathe out. Breathe in. general when you do meditation what you want to do is you want to when you breathe in you want your tongue to touch the top of your mouth just behind your teeth and then you breathe out it drops down breathe in tongue up breathe out tongue down breathe in Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, so now meditation, keep breathing in and out. Meditation is for learning to, to get some control over your mind that's have directed thought is the first step. So with what we do in this Taoist meditation is we visualize energy moving around your body. So what we do here is when we breathe in, you visualize energy, golden energy coming up and going up the back of your arms, going to your heart. And then when you breathe out, it goes from your heart down the front of your arms to your hands and then it pours in to that golden chi ball we're holding. So breathe in.
Cuidado. Breathe in, energy is flowing up the back of your arms. Breathe out, it's going down the front of your arms to your palms and then into that ball. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, energy in. Breathe out, down the front of your arms and into that golden chi ball. Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is we have this ball full of that golden energy. It's, we're going to bring it down. It's going to go legs. It's going to go up our back. We arch our back. It's going to go up. We're going to roll it over the top of our head. And then as we come down, we're going to do our rounded spines. We'll do it again. So we come up, rolling that ball of energy up our backs. We're arching, we're opening up our chest, and then we're breathing out. This is where the tongue comes in. You're breathing in. The tongue is touching the top of your mouth. When you get there with that energy, then your tongue can drop down as that energy washes down the front of your body. We'll do two more times. So breathe in. Rolling the golden chi ball around your body. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that ball, and push it into our stomach, we'll do one more breath. We're gonna push everything in so we capture that. Okay, so now gently bring your legs together. We're gonna pull out the heavens to end. So breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, and then one last time, breathe in, breathe out, and then we 